Hi, this is Mr. C, the teacher from earlygradelessons.com. And today we're going to take a look at the long vowel E, which is made with E, and then of course a silent magic E. All right, let's go ahead and set up our phonics workbook. We'll use our title here first, which is going to be E, and it's a long E. We put that little line over. And it's made with a magic E at the end that helps make that E say its name. So that'll be our title, E, line, E. We'll put the date up in the top-hand corner for whatever day it is for you today. And we're going to use six words that will have the magic silent E at the end of it. So let's number one, two, and three down the side of our page with lots of space in between. If we fold this page over to the middle of the book, we can find the middle of our page. And that way we can set up our page for four, five, and word number six like that. Lots of space and lots of room to write. All right, now let's take a look at some words that have the silent magic E at the end that then cause the E within the word to say E instead of E. So we come across lots of names with magic E at the end, names like Steve or Pete or Zeke. Names like, words like these or here or a name like Eve. All right, let's go ahead and copy in our words. So our first word is a name like Pete, Pete the cat, for example. So being a name, we need a capital P. We'll put our E in that goes E, and then our T, and then our silent magic E that makes this E say its name, E. So we got P, E, T, Pete, Pete. Without that silent magic E, we just have the word pet, Pete. Word number two is another name, it's Zeke. Big capital Z, then our E that's going to say E, and a K for that K sound, and again our silent magic E that makes this E say its name. Without that silent magic E, we'd have Zek, but here we've got Z-E-K, Z-E-K, Zeek, Zeek. Let's do another name, Steve. Nice big capital S because it's a name, and the T to give us that constant blend of st, st. Then our E that's going to go E, and a V, V. Without the silent magic E, we'd have stev. But with this silent magic E at the end, it makes this E say its name, and we've got st, eve, st, eve, steve. Here's a common word for number four. It's the word these. We use our diphthong digraph th 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 e s and then the magic silent e at the end that's going to make this e say its name. So we got th ease th ease these like these things over here these. Word number five is the name, but also the word for Eve. Eve can be short for evening, like Christmas Eve or it can be a person's name. This case, it's not only starting with that capital E, but that E is making the E sound. And we've got our V, and we've got our silent E at the end. So it's not Eva or Eva, it's just Eve, Eve, Eve. And last word, the word here, like you are here. So we need our H, our E that goes E, and our er sound. Without the magic E at the end, we got the word her. But here with the silent magic E that makes this E say its name, it becomes ear, ear, here, come here. All right, there we go. Let's make those E's pop off the page by adding some color to them. Take a bright color like this. I'm gonna go over top of the E that goes E and the silent E that makes that E go E. So by coloring in both E's, it makes it pop off the page, and we can see that the lesson that we're learning about is long vowel E made with silent magic E. There we go, that's popped off the page there. I gotta draw a picture to go with one of my words. That's a little bit tricky in some cases if I'm not drawing a person, so how about if I do something like draw an arrow? It points to the word 
here. Often you get on those maps, you are here, right, with an arrow pointing to where you're supposed to go or where you are. Guess we could write that in. You are here, <laughs> All right? And there's our arrow. And there's our six words for phonics lesson, long E, long vowel E, made with E, followed by usually a letter or two, and then a silent magic E at the end that makes the first E say its name, E. You can find more of these lessons on earlygradelessons.com.